Hello everyone, my name is Ian, welcome back to my hobby YouTube channel in brief book and film reviews and today, well, talk about film review, what a film I have uh, today to review for you guys Okay, so this film, uh, sorry, first of all I'd like to say um, thanks very much for all the subscribers and that I uh, just noticed that this morning I'm up to 61 subscribers so uh, thanks very much I said to uh, mention to my sister and that that um, you know I was doing a hobby YouTube channel on that and I was trying to aim for about 65 subscribers before you know Christmas you know a week before Christmas I said to her and that you know that was like a tag of mine so um, I think last week I was on like uh, the last time I checked I was on about 55 or something like that so when I seen 61 I said to so myself wow they're really on course and that you know to hit that little target that I had so I'd just like to say thanks very much for all the subscribers and stuff and that really appreciate your support and that um okay so getting back to this film okay so the reason why I really wanted to do this film is because I love this film I really do you know I've watched it so many times it's like a, a film to so many people who say like um what it would be to uh, the equivalent of people who really like uh, mafia films like what um, the, the Godfather or Goodfellas or the Irishman would would be to and that I've watched this uh, so many times and that what a great film and that you know it's not everyone's cup of tea but it's a uh, it's definitely um, a fantastic film so I just wanted to give a review to this film today it's called The Warriors Okay, so many years have probably seen this film and just come in and I wanted to tune in for me to give the review to and many people wouldn't have, have, have seen this film because it's not like a film that pops up every Christmas and that, you know, they don't show this every Christmas or every six months uh, on TG Cahar or whatever, like, you know, yeah, I don't think I've ever seen this film on normal TV, like uh, regular TV. Um, and the reason why I wanted it, I actually forgot about doing a review for this, but it's only when I did a review for the Outsiders, I was like, ah, oh, come on, and I have to do it. If I'm going to do one for the Outsiders, I have to do one for the Warriors also on that, you know, because it's such an iconic film. Um, okay, so this film was um, released in, in, on, the, on the February the 19th, 1979. Okay, I've just got a few details here. Uh, I'll give you the details. I'm going to put them all up in the description box. And then afterwards, I'll just tell you about the film itself, the plot, um, some of the cast characters and what it took from the film and that. Um, okay, so the name of the film, The Warriors, was, uh, release date was 1979, February, um, February the 9th, 1979. It's an American action thriller film. Okay, director is Walter Hill, the famous Walter Hill, great uh, director. And it was based on the book, the novel book, uh, that was written um, many years before, I think in 1965, by Saul Urich. Um, the, it was based in the city of New York, the street gangs who uh, basically, uh, I'll tell you more about this horse, and that, that's the, uh, the plot. Uh, <clears throat> so the screenplay was by David uh, Shaba, and the, uh, the producer was Lawrence Gordon. Uh, the starring cast was Michael Beck. James Reamer, Deborah Van Valkenburg, uh, Marcello Sanchez, RIP, uh, David Harris, David Patrick Kelly, got mad and play, and uh, um, cinematographer was the late great Andrew Laszlo. The music was by Barry uh, the Vor Vorson. It's actually a um, soundtrack to this film as well and that I'll put the description up uh, I'll put the link up in the description sorry um, it was distributed by uh, Paramount Pictures the run of time is 92 minutes it, feel, it feels a lot longer than 92 an hour and a half to be honest with you um, and it's, it's one of those films you really want it to go on a little bit longer like it's just such a great film and that you know the language is English the budget was uh, 4 million and in 1979 4 million was a colossal budget it really was it wasn't like the biggest ever but it was like very big and then uh, the box office came back as 2.22.5 uh, million which was just gargantuous <laughs> uh yeah so it was it was really really excellent film and i really enjoyed it okay so um it's written on the uh, basis of the, the the plot and that so the gang is from new york um uh, new york street gang uh they have to um make it to you know make it to the journey of 30 miles 40 um 30 miles uh from the north end of the bronx which is like at the top i don't i'm not too up in new york uh, ge geography and that 
Sacred Heart Town on North End where we have the top of where the Bronx is, right down to the home turf of uh, Coney Island, which is in southern uh, Brooklyn. So uh, because they were framed for like a, a kind of the mother of a gang leader, you know, a notorious gang leader and that. So um, yeah, it was a, a excellent film with that. So uh, all through the journey of trying to uh, get back home to Coney Island and that they come across different gangs. I won't say too much in that because I don't want to spoil it for you guys that may not have seen it. I'm sure a lot of people have. But for those younger crowds that haven't come across it, it's a great film. It's really good. Like yeah, I don't care what age you are, you you really will enjoy this film. With that, you know, it's a uh, really good. And a lot of people get so many things out of the film. Also, and that you know, um. So on their journey, um, after being framed, they kind of have to, you know, get out. So they kind of go to this place. They regroup, reorganize, and say, "Listen, we got it. We got to get back to base. How are we gonna do this?" So all through New York and that, you know, uh, the Bronx and stuff and these base queens, they have to um, like negotiate around gangs and that because the gang is not the biggest gang and that and they don't want the beef with any of them and that. They just want to get back safe and that re reorganize and find out what they're going to do afterwards and that, you know. Um, so that, that that's basically the plot here. That's what the plot is and that. Uh, it's really, 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 really good and that, you know, I was actually chatting to two friends of mine there the other day about asking did they see and they started laughing and that, you know, because we were, talk we were looking at something and that, uh, within Dublin and uh, it's like a, the Lewis, uh, it's called the Lewis, uh, it's like a speed tram and, um, you know, that'd be a great set for like a remake of the the warriors and stuff and that you know you'd have gangs going up because we were going to a football match and stuff and that so yeah it's really really good uh good film and that and you know i'm not i'm not big into remakes of films such as like robocop and uh other iconic films like the outsiders obviously and that um and i'm not i would would hate to, to um sabotage the um the legacy of this absolutely just wonderful film and that you know but um, I would uh, think that you could, this, this storyline happens in everyday life, it happens up to the present moment, and can happen up to the present moment, and that, you know, maybe not in kind of more settled down economic stru structured countries and that, but definitely in uh, in other places and that, in, in countries where you'd have a lot of more gang warfare and stuff and that, you know, and uh, they would have to make it to a certain, you know, touch base and before they can get home to where, where they're going and stuff and that you know um yeah so just a really really interesting and, and, and wonderful film and that and most of the cast uh, thankfully are still alive today and that you know it's made a long time ago but um there were a lot of cast went on to do uh, a lot of really good stuff but the all the cast that were in this were probably this was the signature film that they were in and that you know um and that's it. I can't think of anything else than that. You know, like I'm really excited about coming online and doing the the, uh, the review to this and that because it's such a great film with that. So I probably when I finish doing this review, I probably oh, I should I should have put that in actually in that. But yeah, I can't really say anything else about it unless I'm gonna spoil it because uh, um, I'll spoil it and that. But it, it's a bit graphic and that. You know, it's a bit there's a bit nastiness in there. You know, uh, but there's also a little bit a little bit hint of um, comedy also as well. The uh, makeup as well, and the, I'd say the um, choreography of the costumes and all that is just like really, really good, really, really good, and that you know, uh, and uh, that's one of the standout things that I took from it. Is like, wow, they 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 really went all out on this film and that, and um, really put it because I I've never seen a film like it. You know, you see the warrior, uh, it's not the warriors, the wanderers. That's another good film and that uh, setting in around that that time as well. And that was that, that's like a really iconic film and that's kind of like you wouldn't even see that and then there was a film also about um i think um harold's jack nicholson was in i can't remember the film now it's about harley davidson riders and stuff and that you know that was kind of like uh kind of like the gangy kind of thing as well but that was nothing like this but in terms of the costumes and the makeup and that it was like was brilliant than that and uh, i think there was a i'm not too sure the, the starting scene where they're in um i think it could be new york's uh, park you know the big park in new york and that. i think they could have been there i'm not too sure if that was the name of the park if it is uh, let me know um yeah that was really good at the start as well and that you really enjoy this film it's a uh, 15 yeah it's a 15th film and that so i've 
gone up to about nine minutes, ten minutes on that. Thanks very much for watching today. I hope everyone's staying blessed, staying positive, staying gratitude is for the things that you have. Don't worry about the things that you don't have. And uh, yeah, all is good in this hood. Uh, we're uh, coming into spring, summer now. Quite as fantastic outside and that. So I might not be on doing um, reviews as much as what I would have been before. Because the weather's really good. I like to get out, go to the beach and whatnot. So talk to you later guys and uh, have a wonderful week ahead take care all the best